So, mini Taobao haul. Hello. Long time no vlog. Early birthday present from this guy. <laughs> okay, time for unboxing. Hey, help! Okay. Ah! This is a thing. It's a DT. It's a Divoom D2 mic in pink. Oh no, it's no bash. Mic? Where's the instruction manual? Holy, so many things. Uh, stickers for I don't know what. A user manual. Oh no. I'll read this later. Smashed up box with a cable. So. What is this? Oh, wow. Is this a mic foam thing? Maybe? No. How do you turn this on? You have to charge it. No battery, man? Oh. Oh. oh This is not the correct time. Oh. Oh. Very nice tactile feedback. Clicky, I mean not tactile. Hello. Okay, yeah, I forgot to finish up after that day. This is the Divoom D2. This is on visualizer mode. The mic is off, but I have no idea how it's detecting it because there's obviously no song playing. If I keep really quiet, you can see it doesn't like bounce. Yeah, so when I speak it does, then I don't know how it's detecting. Lah. But the bass is actually really good. Uh, let me play some non-copyright music, so... <coughs> Hello? Hello? Then, like, okay, you see, uh, there's a lot of modes on this mic. So if I click this button, this controls the mic volume. This controls the mode. EPMC cord. Hello. 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 EPMC cord. Hello. This one. This, this one, one has, has a bit of auto tune. Hub mode. I have no idea what this is. How's the mode? I guess it's for hosting, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna host on such a small speaker. I guess if you really want to record, you can. Uh, this one apparently feeds, can fit into your computer for recording. But I don't think this mic is particularly good for that. Hello, hello, hello. There's no like echo or anything for this one. Robot mode. This one. <laughs> this one is quite funny. So, yeah. Mode. This one just makes me sound like a chipmunk. <laughs> it's quite annoying. Zeno mode. Um, this one has a bit of echo, I guess, which annoying if you want me to sing with echo, la, But yeah. EDM C chord. I have no idea what they say after EDM. So, hello, hello. hello. This one has no distortion. The other one does. Brief overview of this Divoom. D2 plus with mic, I think. Uh, the dog is going crazy. Hold on. So, mini Taobao haul. Uh, I spit. I got some by the free shipment. 
and then they split into like three different uh packages. Then I also ship some via Xiaobo Dao, which is a third party forwarder. Uh, I know some of you all have been asking me for like a tutorial on using third party forwarders. Do let me know if you want a tutorial for that and how I split, like why I decide to split certain items into like a third party forwarder and then some I use the free ship. So let me know if you want that. Uh, so let's just do a mini unboxing, I guess. So it will be over the next few days, I think, because the Xiaobo Dao should be reaching soon. Uh, they haven't called me yet. Then there's another one that is supposedly which has reached Singapore but I don't know where they are and then one more is arriving on estimated 14 so yeah oh on a side note uh, there's a new thing here and we also did this to prevent her from rushing to the door when like delivery people come or guests in general uh, some slight changes overall but I feel like I should just do the house tour because if not, it's never going to be up because I'm never satisfied with enough with the house. So I think I'm just going to do one regardless of how the state is now. Probably pack it up a bit because this is probably the cleanest it will ever be uh, since we just cleaned up for Chinese New Year, right? And then pack up a bit and then probably do one. Where I go through the theory, the planning process on why we decided to do it in this manner because there's quite a bit of layout changes especially for those two rooms that means not this room, this room is not touched that room and the master bedroom and also for the kitchen entrance this area here yeah so I'll do one that's like that and then one more that's the short version that shows you the house without the description and explanation and then also I'm planning to like transition this channel to more of like my IT stuff because um, there's some updates there that I'll probably give later. Let me finish this unboxing first. Okay, so I bought some uh, whiteboard markers. This is for work. And then some uh, they call Na Mi Jiao Dai which is basically the super sticky but removable tape. Two of these. And then this one is a uh, not really sure. So basically it's an like upgraded version of the Nami Jiao Dai that um, it's mesh so it's easier to remove than the that one because I think for that one it removes chunks of paint. Yeah. Then if you're wondering what that box is over there, this is actually uh, <laughs> uh, half a dozen bottles of Moscato because we are sharing with a friend. We just, I just want one uh, and then we wanted to buy one more bottle for like the our friend's um, housewarming and then we were asking another friend that about recommendations for Moscato because he drinks more wine than us and then he said like oh how about we just get this and then we share so that's that Okay, so this is a toothbrush holder sterilizer machine thing with a, a toothpaste dispenser. Ours is still working, it's just that um, the holder part is a bit gross because it's growing more and then I cannot clean it because I can't dismantle it. But I like that one because the, the, the toothpaste holder part right, is very good to clean because you can dismantle every single part so i'm just gonna hold that while we test this out to see if it works well yeah the thing about the current one is that it also has four like it's it holds four so it takes up a lot of space we only need two to brush hold like spaces so yeah this one is much smaller this is three and then i think it can be dismantled uh the only thing that i don't really like is that it's an automatic dispenser for the toothpaste. So this part here, uh, cable, so this is rechargeable. I guess this is good because you can clean everything. I will update on, then this UV sterilization. Yeah, then it's the sticky thing. So I hope this works because we bought a cheap toothpaste holder previously. Uh, and our toothpaste cannot fit inside. I actually don't remember what's in this package. Oh. Uh, this is an iPad, the iPad Hope case. This brand 
is really good. It's not the cheapest, but so far I bought from them before and I really like the quality. It's top Morok. So yeah. Can't see. Morok. And they have pretty cute designs. So the one that I got is a Moji inspired. Yeah, came with a screen protector. Didn't expect that. Okay. Some stickers which I don't need. Um, so got some some organizer for the toilet basically. Because like uh due to my anxiety I also grind my teeth when I sleep. Then I wanted to buy like those uh you know those tablets where you can clean the mouth guard, right? So I got a mouth guard and then now I have to wear that to sleep every night. And then I can open this. So uh, they recommended to get like the denture cleaners, but I don't like the taste. Um, I guess these are the sticky pads and the separators. So I wanted to get like a holder because we don't have a mirror cabinet, we just have a frameless mirror. So I'm gonna stick this on there so we can like separate the stuff basically. Inner tablets and then other miscellaneous stuff like hair clips and stuff like that. This is a self-adhesive strip holder. So this one right is basically for my multi-plug below my table because that table has gone kaput and I really want to get a new one but I don't have the money so the next one I get will probably be from like either a, what's the brand again? Oh, shit. a Godess? I think so the one with the health hub, health coach that one then yeah so in the meantime I'm trying to organize my strips as in uh, my cables because they are a mess I've shifted the CPU up and then my monitors are now connected to a multi plug which is on the floor which is annoying because Mochi goes and plays with it which is also dangerous so I wanted to mount this to the underside of my table using regular like um, tape doesn't cut it because it's so heavy so if you remember I have a tap that's installed on the countertop and not on the sink so our issue with it is that it drips everywhere like when you try to turn off the tap and I've been finding ways to like prevent that so this is another method which I will try later this is basically a sponge that is supposedly super absorbent okay. then I bought a lot of these uh, basically these are like organizers for your cutlery and then you can just separate them so I accidentally made a mistake by calculating this set here for the outside drawer instead of my cutlery drawer so I might end up organizing my uh, tea drawer instead of my cutlery drawer and then I already have one currently for the cutlery but I feel that it can be more efficient with the space yeah that's all for this small haul okay so the current situation with this sink is that Every time, because this is on the counter, right? And then you wash your stuff, it splashes here, never mind. When you turn off the sink, I mean the tap, the water collects here. So, it's annoying because uh, this is not super tight in the first place, like I can move it, literally. And then I'm worried about water going in through there, damaging the carpentry. So, we have tried a lot of methods to keep this area dry but okay let's move this away so previously i was using diatomite this one which didn't work because it just started growing more instead it could be just that i use a shitty quality but never mind so i got this um matte thing that is already elevated if you can see it's already elevated to sort of drain the water but then I need to put something to e elevate it even more because otherwise the water doesn't flow down properly so like for this area right now it's fine you can see that the water comes down still relatively okay but this area doesn't so you can see even after draining the water there is I don't know if you can see it 
but there's some water here which is gross because it doesn't drain away like it's supposed to like some comes out but not the ones here so you know this um i don't know it was viral for a bit on tiktok so it's like those uh pulp sponge that's apparently very uh good for absorbing oil and you just need to rinse it out with cold like with water instead of soap and i tried that it actually works uh but it's actually really good for absorbing water here so now we have resorted to literally putting it here so that every time it just collects the water I and mean, then I just have to squeeze it out like the other day so that's why I went to buy this uh, in hopes of like I guess absorbing the water here instead because this is actually kind of gross now like it's in, if you touch it here right where the water collects it's actually slimy which is very disgusting this is a really good invention though like you can choose to buy the option with both foam one gel one foam or both gel so i put one for dish soap one for hand wash previously i was using like a small bottle for the dish soap and then hand wash was like by itself so it's two separate things this one is just good because it's neat like here and then this is the cutlery drawer option okay so this is the tea coffee area which is a mismatch of all these containers yeah so i'll have to make it more efficient there's a lot of small cups here those are shot glasses these are like the chinese tea cups and then this is a b60 coffee filter with what the heck is that a coffee bean scrap sauces a tiny espresso cup which was a free gift uh more mugs bigger coffee cups and then random coffee accessories here so i wanted to organize this this was supposed to be a cutlery organizer but it was too big so this is where the cutlery organizer is so it was supposed to that big one was supposed to fit in here but uh i just bought a set and i didn't really count so this part here right, actually is removable like these things are all separate so this is the best one that best combination that i've managed to get but you can see that this part here is not used this part here is also not used so the bad thing about uh bloom tandem boxes is that while it is a it's very solid it's metal this part is not straight down this part is actually angled so if you want to buy those like straight down straight cut boxes right they won't be able to fit here and then you have this gap yeah, so something to note for those who want a uh, bloom tandem boxes then this is how we organize the bowls and stuff we tried buying the you know those bowl organizers where you slot it in but it was, it was super not efficient because you can only put like x amount of bowls which is not a lot it's much better to stack it like that but it's just annoying when you have like three different types here for example you have to take out one stack take out and then take this bowl and then put everything back which is annoying uh, also these bowls from Taobao even though they are cheap cheap they are pretty but they are really really heavy and they actually scratch quite easily this is with dishwasher can you see the scratches yeah so uh, when these break right or oh, when they spoil I pretty much they only spoil when they break I'm gonna change back to Corel which is the lightweight one and it is very good for dishwasher as well okay so this area is now a mess because we don't have a storage cabinet and there's no wall to like actually mount stuff so we have a hand uh hand towel here and then this is the toothpaste holder right so you can see that it's pretty good because individually they all can be dismantled and then so this is how it works. This is Hoji's toothbrush. I just put here because it was drying. And then if you can see below, it's actually quite gross because I cannot dismantle this thing. Yeah. But the bad thing is this one, right? The toothpaste part cannot be dismantled. So um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so how to dismantle it, right? Is that... Okay, so I took out the toothpaste already so you see this thing here you can unlock 
take out and this part here can also be unscrewed take out so you can individually wash all these gunk out which I really like so it's normally what we do like all this I do when we change the toothpaste Then like the really good thing is you can see this is not equally centered. So there is a specific way that it fits. If you try to reverse it right, it doesn't fit in. See. So it's quite idiot proof as in reassembly. So normally I wash everything, then I let it dry. And then this is how you put it back. So this part right, there's a click and lock system so you just slot it in and then turn there's a click sound so this is like very secure then there's this part at the bottom and then you just need to put it back and there's also a lock system here yeah, which I like lah. Then this part here you just like dig out the gunk. But the only thing is I cannot remove. Like there's no flip. Okay, so this might be better. You can see this part is very black. I tried to scrub it out already but I can't. Yeah, so this one also has this one also has some. Yeah, I can't really I don't I cannot reach to thoroughly scrub it out, but I also don't really want to use it anymore because it's uh, kinda gross. So you can see this is a hook system. So it's very secure, like it clips into place very nicely with a resounding click. Okay, so the second batch from Xiaobo Tao arrived. Uh, this one I got it created up because these are actually like canvas paintings, those DIY painting kind, which I am doing for my grand aunt. I did one many years back for them previously and they liked it a lot. Uh, they always had it displayed at their house. Just that I think this year they painted the house or late last year they painted the house and then the that painting didn't go with the new aesthetics so I decided to get something new for them to match their current aesthetics which is more of the off-white neutral kind. Uh, so when I shipped this to Xiaobo Tao right they suggested to create it. Yeah so this was extra 100 renminbi. B. I was just thinking I might as well do it since I don't want to like ship it all the way here. And then risk it like having the painting like bend because this one is actually really big it's like 70 by 60 i think and these are like two uh 30 by 60 eh? three, th three 30 by 60 paintings of which one is actually for our place because it's cute when i unbox them i'll show you and then these are the rest of the small items which i actually forgot what i bought so let's get to unboxing okay, let's start with the easy one first Oh, okay. These are uh, beauty puffs. This is like a blind box kind of concept. Interesting. Oh, and a case for you to hold it. I didn't get the puff puff, but it's like the flat kind that you can put into cushions and stuff like that. So this one I got as a holder for mochi's like ear cotton pads and cotton buds to clean her ears because right now it's just like everywhere I don't need everything I don't need like a whole bag of cotton pads so yeah. these are ring binders I don't know if you've seen like uh, people online doing medicine in these ring binders and like foreign currency so it's easy to maintain and keep my phone keeps ringing. Got it. Oh, more whiteboard markers. So these are skinny ones. The previous one was the thick one. These are the skinny ones for marking on towels and stuff like that. These, right, are basically similar to the money one, but I'm getting this for accessories like earrings and necklaces and stuff like that because. Right now they are in an acrylic box but I realised that my jewellery are oxidising 
and changing colour so um, I got something that's easier to see and it takes up less space because like if everything fits in it's just, it's just one binder so yeah and since the previous uh, just now the binder didn't whoa, didn't come with inserts so I got the inserts I bought these previously before from this seller for my uh, work basically I wanted to keep like those you know those laminate chip samples for like each individual client when they shortlist their stuff and then those things fall out really easily so I needed something that has like a zip oh some more whiteboard markers these are freebies okay, so I got this uh, file Basically, I really like stationery, so when there's something new, I kind of have to get it. Okay, not really have to, but I really want to get it. Then this one, I thought it was handy because I actually do need a clipboard sometimes during work. Like for example, when I go to a tile shop or like I go to light shop, then I can just clip the, their lighting plan here and then go through with them on the spot versus like if we just get a regular binder right it doesn't it moves everywhere yeah so this one has double layers so i can keep more things here i can keep a pen here and then this is like the display so that's what the whiteboard marker is for so that's a display i can write directly on this and it will affect the paper inside oh So these are more uh, holders for the bathroom. So like right now, I got Nick uh, an electron electric shaver, and then it's just hanging around, and it collects a lot of water. So I got this, which has the holes at the bottom to drain water, so you can hang it on the mirror. Then you can just put his stuff inside, and then it will just strip through. And same for like additional things. Like what? I'm not really sure also, but yeah, I got two of those. Okay, so these, right, are the Aligner Cleanser Tablets. Oh. Yeah. So, uh, I'm a sucker for packaging. It looks good. That's why I was drawn to it in the first place. And then I looked at their reviews, which is actually uh, a lot. And they all said it's pretty good. So I actually bought like two boxes to try the previous round. And then I like that it's individual packaging and then it's very easy to tear. And so there's like three different flavors in each box. This is uh what is this? Peach. This is lemon. And this is blueberry. So why I don't really like the denture cleanser tablets is because it's very minty. So when I put on my mouth, guard, I choke on it. This one doesn't have any of that minty like uh chiang kind of taste. So, but it still leaves you feeling very like fresh. Uh, I bought apparently it's some I don't know what promo kind of thing, but uh, I'm I bought I think two, and then it comes with some some ba jian tao or something like that, right? And then I got five boxes of the tablets. Each box is thirty, so it's appro approximately one month. And then I have five boxes of these, and then I got a uh, orthodontic cleansing wipes. Uh. I'm not sure how to do that. And then there's a... This is basically a... Mouth guard holder. I already have one. I know this one. This is the cup, I think. Yeah, it's a collapsible cup. But there was another packet... I mean, there was another package that has one with the mouth guard holder, the U-shaped one. The one I have is a... It's a tong. Like, it's a cup. It's not a cup, it's a container that basically you can put water, it has a draining um, thing that like you can just pull it on it and it drains all the water for you oh uh, yeah so these are basically the sheet protectors uh, I normally use these for like when I put the permits up uh, on for the renovation period cause uh, they tend to get very dirty and then taken down and then if they get taken down, I get a fine so uh, I would much rather keep them in pristine condition and if possible, I will reuse these sheets Yeah. so that's the 11 hole one this, which is the normal one most people have this is the 30 hole for A4 so this is the one that way you can use those binders that you can just open close and then you add more sheets Yeah. so this one is 30 hole why I got this is because um, 
there are uh, when you have this many holes, right? You don't need to get this specific kind of binders to yeah, like these are thirty holes. So there's one that go that's going around right now. There's only like a five clip, so it's like you can just carry that one of these, two of these. And they can do up a whole A4 size like loose leaf binder without the this this hard part. Yeah, which is handy. So that's why I rather do that than the. 11 hole where you actually need a proper binder okay so that's that okay now for the big one why i didn't want to ta this bojia right is because the previous time we did it for some of our furniture and it was a massive hassle to remove so i thought very long about whether to add this crate or not because it sucks Like look at the amount of nail guns and nails that they actually put into this thing. Okay, let's start with the smaller ones, but multiple. Okay, <laughs> printing not very good, I guess. Yeah, this is the thing. Would not buy again from this level, even though it's cheap. Yeah, painting is quite horrible. in the marking demarcation is pretty bad it just looks like they blew up a jpeg and printed it they gave paper plates masking tape or painter's tape and then uh, some stuff to hang on the walls plastic uh, oil palette knife I think that's what it's called. And then uh, some nails, some brushes, a pencil, sand. I think I bought the not oil painting one. Crap. Colors. And yeah, I think I bought the one with like the one that you need to mix with stuff so it has a bit of texture. And there's no instructions. With a shitty. This is from a different seller, I believe. This one has much better packaging. It's at least like foam. At least they give you the paint numbers. <laughs> a holder for the paint instructions. Although they kind of all fell apart. These are pretty sturdy tubs. Brushes, the mounting on wall thing, and this is the paint. Oops, wrong way. This way. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but basically it's like a very zen kind of thing. This is tangerines, I think, and it says ping an a teapot and a table so basically it's like a very chill setting this frame is actually really nice it's very solid and then like the back you can see the frame is here as well unlike this other panda one so this seller i would recommend okay so now the vlog part is done uh i'm just putting a filler video of me doing my daily work stuff in office while we have a chat some life updates basically i have changed companies i'm no longer with darwin interior if you still want to look for jaya as your id do go ahead her contact details are still in the vendor list i'll just be updating my part on the list 
since I have, I'm no longer with uh, Darwin. My contact number is still the same for ID Works. If you do want to look for me, please do come. <laughs> I have managed to do up two subscribers houses already and if you're interested to have a look you can go on to my IG and see if you can spot which ones are those. The IG link will be put here and it will also be in the description box below. I actually do post more on my works on IG because it's more short form, it's easier to update and it's also um, bite-sized pieces of content. I also do do reels uh, of transformations and also reasonings behind why I do certain things. So it's more like case studies of uh, certain projects that I think are interesting. Uh, if you're interested, you can have a look there as well. And also on TikTok and Lemonade. So I'll put all those links below. Um, basically, it's pretty much the same content, just spread out across three different social media platforms. Do follow, help me grow please, thank you. And also, I was thinking about pivoting this platform here as well into more ID related things because uh, we no longer have renovation content because our home is done like two years, three years ago. Actually, it's three years already. <laughs> then we also stopped the lifestyle vlogs because honestly, our lives are pretty boring once I started work. Uh, if you want my work vlogs, like those will be probably on uh, Instagram. So pivoting into more ID related things and videos and content and stuff like that. I did write up some like framework of what I want to say and what kind of content I want to produce. So uh, that will be coming up. And also it's not just purely like ID stuff. I will still be doing more Taobao haul stuff like that. So occasional uh, lifestyle vlogs more unboxing which I think a lot of you all like and then also Taobao tutorials and then on like why I choose to ship via third party and then why sometimes I choose to ship via their official forwarder uh, reasons behind my choices and how to actually use a forwarder and things like that and also the house tour video which I said earlier on in this uh, video so it has been another month since then I will try to pack up and do it um, since I have some free time now since I changed companies and I don't have any ongoing sites so that's that for this video see you guys in the next one